Raider knives are made in limited production runs from G-Code Holster Systems. It's made from CPM 3V steel, which is some of the most tough tool steel made. It's high carbon steel. Now I did some research on the CPM 3V uh, steel, and it's a crucible particle metallurgy process. And it's a high carbon steel. It has extreme strength and toughness. Uh, these are super tough. Now, one thing about high carbon steel is that it you have to maintain it. You have to take care of it because it, it can rust. But I really prefer carbon steel over stainless steel. It gives a better edge. It holds it longer. It's, you can just tell the difference. These are tool steels. And they are made for really hard use. For severe elements. And really the edge retention is phenomenal. And it's really impact and chip resistant. So, but it's better than A2, it's better than O1, and it's better than D2 steels. Now the Raider is not light. In fact, the knife itself weighs 11 ounces. It's really hefty, but I'm telling you again, as much as I've used these knives in the field, and the heaviness, really, that is to your advantage. You know, I would give up weight in other areas to have a good, solid, sturdy knife. Because, like I've said before, the knife is the ultimate survival tool. Now the edge itself is 5 inches, but from here to the tip is 6 inches. So you're going to have a nice full uh, length of edge to be able to cut and to be able to perform tasks. Even batoning and doing other tasks that are field related. So this knife is up to piercing, to chopping, to slicing. It can fit a multitude of needs. I'm really big on having a nice heavy uh, spine. Because when I started using kukuris in the field, which I love kukuris, there was such a huge advantage with having a really nice thick knife. But you want to definitely have that edge. Now what they've done, and you can see, the quarter inch comes all the way down to about here, and then it just slowly tapers down to this edge. So it really gives it a lot of strength all the way down, but yet you have a nice cutting edge. Of course, it has a tanto blade, which comes to a point, but even here, you can see where this comes down, and these are super strong. This is not going to chip, even under extreme use. It does have a full tang, and you can see all the way around. It has the G10 scales, which I really love G10. Uh, it does have a reptile snake design. I love this these scales, and then it has three very secure, adjustable uh, bolts here to hold this in. Of course you'll notice that there is a nice guard here and this is really made for fighting and you can lock it in and twist it and be able to disarm someone else that's coming at you with a weapon. Now leading up next is really the ergonomics. This is a superior ergonomic grip. It has the thickness of the tang but the G10 scales are not really that thick but it does have a palm swell here which allows you not only to get a really good grasp of this knife, but it allows you to adjust your grip in a big hurry. And you'll notice the balance is superb. I really haven't held a knife that I like this much in a long time, if ever. You can see how the G10 scales kind of push out this way, so it allows you to grab hold here. It does have this groove, this little notch, to be able to secure your grip. And then the grip itself is slightly bowed right here. So again, it just really is a very ergonomic feel. Now the sheath itself is really just something to talk about on its own. And one, it was really funny. Now first thing I want to tell you is this lanyard I put on here, this does not come with the knife itself. But you will notice that there are four ports or lanyard holes here and then some smaller holes here. And you'll also notice that there is no way to attach this knife as far as any kind of clip or belt loop. Now when I first got this in, I was really kind of perplexed and I thought exactly how am I going to do this? There's so many ways to lash this on and that's really one of the beauties of this system is it's not dedicated to one way. So you can, using paracord, you can pretty much do anything. Strap it to a backpack, strap it to a tactical belt, to a tactical vest, or just put it on to a regular belt if you're just going hiking. Now there are a lot of really high quality knives out there that are tactical, that are good for the field. I really think the G-Code though has an advantage by leaving this open to your style of carry 
and really with just some paracord you can really zip this thing down and that's one of the beauties of having molly because you can have all the molly attachments and then you can be able to just there's so many different attachment points it's just amazing really okay we've got it attached to the infidel war belt i've got it lashed here with paracord coming around the back and then we have a lanyard here so it's not even going to pull through and it's really strong now this is the tactical fuzz this is kydex and it almost looks like suede but it's going to hold up much better than suede but one of the reasons why they did this tactical fuzz is the sound it's a noise reducer so it causes very little noise you know even with regular kydex you can hear any kind of bump it's a very specific sound with this it muffles the sound and if you'll notice inside is a black kydex and it's also in tactical fuzz so when you're drawing the weapon it's also very quiet if you have a, a kydex holster for your gun you'll know the noise that it makes but with this there's none of that kydex clanking it's very smooth of course there is an adjustment right here to be able to adjust the knife g-code excels in working with kydex their holster systems are some of the best I've used them a lot, and they are by far my favorite holster, uh, especially for tactical situations. But these are layered, and they have really put a lot of thought and engineering into just the sheath itself. Now, you can find the Raider knives at tacticalholsters.com, and that is G-Code's website. And G-Code makes, to me, top-shelf Kydex holsters, both tactical and concealed carry. They have a lot of different accessories, and the quality that goes into their holsters went into this sheath and then even translated into this knife that they make. This is a limited run. It is an exceptional quality, and all the details are taken care of. It is $345. Now, we'll go out and spend five, six, seven hundred $700 on a pistol and even more on a good rifle. But a really good tactical knife, field knife, survival knife is, can be critical in a tough situation. And so I really would recommend that you invest in a nice knife for your setup. Uh, you do get a 15% discount using Sucha in the coupon code. So that will really give you a nice break. In fact, it's $51.75 off the price. So really with shipping and everything, you're just hitting just a little over $300. And these knives will only be around as long as they have stock. So check out tacticalholsters.com. Let them know that Suit sent you and get a 15% discount. And then have an exceptional knife that you can not only have for you, but you can hand down to your children and your grandchildren and even farther. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. All right, let's do a little test to see how sharp this knife really is. Well, maybe we'll try it this way. Yeah, that's a lot better.